From her first kiss with Ashton to a special story with Channing Tatum, here's things you didn't know about Mila Kunis. Number 21, Up the Street. When Mila's family moved from Ukraine to the USA when she was only seven years old, her parents told her they were just moving up the street. When she was on the train to Moscow, she realized it was further than up the street. And then she got on a plane where she had Coca-Cola for the first time. And that was when their life in America began. It might not exactly be up the street, but she has certainly become the girl next door we all know and love. Number 20, Bilingual. Mila Kunis is a woman of many talents, including acting, modeling, and speaking multiple languages. There is one language in particular that confuses some fans when it comes to Mila, and that's Russian. Although she can speak Russian fluently, she can't read or write it. Number 19, Shared Kiss. Her first kiss with her husband Ashton Kutcher was on That 70s Show, but it wasn't their only one before their real-life romance began. Mila and Ashton shared 19 on-screen kisses during that 70s show. That's without all of the extra takes. And while we're on the subject of kisses, according to Mila, Natalie Portman is the one person in the world that both she and her husband Ashton have kissed. Number 18. Frugal. Mila Kunis might have a net worth of $75 million according to Celebrity Net Worth, but that doesn't mean that she needs to flash the cash. Her and Ashton Kutcher spent a total of $190 when buying both of their wedding rings on Etsy, hers costing $90 and Ashton's costing $100, proving it's all about who you marry. And Ashton is a very lucky guy. As Mila said, I don't live lavishly, so it's not like I have 20 assistants and travel privately and shop every day. Number 17. First Roll Despite boasting a glamorous lineup and being a beautiful brunette, Mila's first acting job was in a camping Barbie commercial, a far cry from her risky role in Black Swan. However, the doll never came out. She also had a role in a glitter hair doll commercial. As a child, she loved these gigs because they let her keep the toys after. Her paycheck is definitely bigger now, but these provided a solid start and fond memories. Number 16. Friends with Commitments and speaking of role, she and Ashton never intended to be more than friends with benefits, but fate had other ideas. Interestingly, in 2011, both Mila and Ashton starred in movies about friends with benefits, Kunis in Friends with Benefits, and Ashton in No Strings Attached. Ironically, despite both of their movies being about how it's difficult to be friends with benefits without getting attached, the two thought they could just keep it casual. Three months later, they were living together. She jokes that neither of them must have watched the end of their own movies. Number 15. Heterochromia Everyone knows that Mila has gorgeous eyes. What you might not know is that they are slightly different in color. She actually had temporary blindness in one eye for years, which she kept secret from the world. The condition was chronic iritis, which caused a cataract and resulted in her eyes taking on a slightly different color. Eventually, it was corrected with surgery to replace her lens in 2010. Number 14. Injuries Kunis is a pretty tough cookie. When filming the ballet-based blockbuster Black Swan, Kunis dieted down to 98 pounds and tore one of her calf ligaments, injured her shoulder, and got several scars on her back, resulting in acupuncture and physio. Dancing also isn't her strong point. After finishing filming Black Swan, Mila told W Magazine that she would never dance again. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. Number 13. Shooting a Shoot Mila learned how to use a gun on the set for Max Payne as part of her attempts to get into character. Needless to say, she perfected it. It doesn't stop us noticing how punny it is that she learned to shoot while shooting a scene. When talking about her character, she said, What made me feel empowered was the gun, not the clothes. Like if I had the gun, it didn't matter what your size was, what your stature was. Number 12. One Gift On another financial note, there is one that might shock all of the parents out there. Mila and Ashton might buy their kids one gift each at Christmas. The family celebrates Christian and Jewish holidays. It isn't because they're tight or trying to teach them a lesson. It's purely because their grandparents spoil them so much giving them hundreds of gifts. Number 11. Almost Knocked Up Mila auditioned for the lead role of Allison in Knocked Up, 
but didn't get the part, which went on to be played by Katherine Heigl. However, Judd Apatow was impressed with her audition and later asked if she wanted to be part of Forgetting Sarah Marshall. This 2008 film turned out to be Mila's big movie break. Mila says she is so grateful to Judd for giving her the chance to break out of being pigeonholed as her character on that 70s show. Number 10. Secret Account Mila has a fake Instagram account. Although she hasn't released the username, she has confirmed this. Frankly, when your entire life is on display, it's really no surprise that celebrities need a little bit of space that is their own. It's quite interesting that her bubble is on social media. Who knows how many fans have scrolled by one of her posts without knowing? Clearly, the best place to hide is in plain sight. Number 9. Young Walker Another fierce but fabulous trait. When Mila was just 11 years old, she was featured on an episode of Walker, Texas Ranger. The role was alongside the legend Chuck Norris. It was here that he taught her how to throw a pretty impressive punch. We always knew she was a badass, but it turns out that it's in more ways than first thought. Number 8. Closet Nerd In 2011, in an interview with GQ magazine, Mila told interviewers that she is a Trekkie. Although late to the Star Trek fandom, she is a huge lover for the Next Generation show and has been following the series for a long time. She even went to see the Star Trek Enterprise in Vegas, saying that she loved it. Her love of Star Trek isn't the only nerdy thing about her, though. She is a gamer, too, but mostly on PC. It's been said that one of her favorite games is a cult classic among hardcore gaming lovers. Mila absolutely loves to play World of Warcraft when she has the time. Number 7. Lifesaver when on set with Channing Tatum for Jupiter Ascending, Mila came very close to being injured by a rogue camera. Channing ended up breaking the camera as it was about to hit Mila. He said that, I karate kicked the camera out of the way, though we suspect it wasn't quite that dramatic. However, if Mila's comments are to be believed, then maybe it was. She claimed that he fully saved her life, adding, it was either me or the camera. Perhaps this is what led to the very untrue rumors of a fling between the two. Either way, we're glad it was the camera that got taken out. Number 6. Speak Your Mind As you can imagine, Mila Kunis is a role model for a lot of people, especially when it comes to relationships. She has a bold stance on a lot of subjects concerning romance, a lot of which make a great deal of sense. Her boldness and confidence is one such aspect she has spoken about, stating, I think playing coy is silly. Speak your mind. If a man gets turned off, he's the wrong man. Number 5. Emotions Mila has admitted that she likes it when she makes people cry. It isn't as bad as it sounds, though. She also loves it when people laugh at her movies. In essence, what Mila Kunis loves the most is the ability to bring out raw emotions in people. This is one of the reasons she takes on so many kinds of roles, gathering the opportunity to evoke each and every kind of emotion. She really does want to give back to the community. Number 4. Honeymoon Mila bought Ashton a gift card for an RV for his birthday, but much to her surprise, Ashton decided to take her on their honeymoon in the RV with her in-laws. Eight hours into their driving, the AC in the RV breaks in 110-degree weather. Her mother-in-law picked out the RV parks from the out-of-date travel books, and they ended up at an RV park an hour outside of Napa near two prisons. Mila and Ashton had enough, and they ended their honeymoon early. Number 3. Side Hustle She isn't exactly squeaky clean. In an interview with Conan O'Brien during an appearance on his talk show, she admitted that she helped her friend make some extra cash by selling knockoff boy band shirts and vests online. Her exact words were that nothing was legal. But she did it all for her friend, Julie, who had a knack for roping her into odd jobs, including having her wrap gifts at a retail shop. She did all this while she was a television star on that 70s show. Number 2. Be Quiet Despite being such a beauty that she was voted Esquire's sexiest woman alive in 2012, the most common thing Mila hears from fans is the line, Shut up, Meg! about her notably unattractive character in Family Guy. Not only that, she had to be recalled for three auditions, but told to slow her speech down. She just couldn't stop blobbing those lines. Shut up, Meg! Number 1. Never Seen 
Despite filming 200 episodes for that 70s show over eight seasons, Mila claims the first season she watched maybe one or two episodes, but since then has never seen the show. She says it's like watching yourself go through puberty on national TV, and no one should have to do that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.